Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. It's Wisdom Wednesday. We're going to talk about the wisdom of embracing change. You ready? Come on, let's go. Live from our nation's capital, welcome to Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. An expert on race, religion, and relationships, Dr. Anderson wants to talk to you. Our phone lines are now open. 888-432-7434. And now, please welcome Dr. David Anderson, your bridge-building voice in the nation's capital. That's me, your bridge-building voice right here in the nation's capital, covering all of the DMV, that's D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, parts of West Virginia and Pennsylvania as well, and we get to hang out every day at this hour, the first hour of rush hour out of the nation's capital, and I'm just so happy uh, that we get to connect. Thanks for uh, thanks for being my faithful listeners. I know some of you, you listen every single day and you tell me that. Others of you listen when you can, and uh, some of you have been first-time callers. Some of you have called regularly, but just want you to know I appreciate the connection, okay? And if you want to connect with me today, feel free, like any other day, just dial my phone number. Uh, and give me a call. You'll get through my call screener quickly, and you'll get up on my screen, and I'll take your phone calls right here in the Anderson Speaks studio. By the way, hello to everybody who's listening on WAVA. That is 105.1 FM out of Arlington, Virginia. And then, of course, all over on the Internet, WAVA.com. And for those of you who are watching on my social media, hello, hello. I'm giving you my sideways peace sign on uh, Facebook Live and YouTube Live at Anderson Speaks is my handle there. So make sure you say hi to me, type something in, talk to other people as well about the topic. Speaking of the topic, what is the topic for today? It's the wisdom of embracing change. The wisdom of embracing change. In other words, none of us probably like, ooh, I want change, I want change, I want change. Well, at the same time, change happens. And so how do you embrace it? How do you deal with it? And as we come to the end of one year and kind of transition into another year, here's my question. What changes do you want to make heading into the new year? What changes do you want to make? Heading into the new year, you know, the new year is really just a new calendar date, but it also gives us an opportunity to think about something new in the area of finances, in the area of relationships, in the area of of ministry, in the area of our health. There are just so many areas that we could look at and say, okay, God, thank you. You brought me through this last year. But as I go into this new year, Lord, Here's some changes I'm going to make. Well, if you'd like to share those changes with me or have questions about it, I'd love to talk with you. Here is my phone number, 888-432-7434. That number again is 888-432-7434. The wisdom of embracing change. What changes do you want or even need to make? as you head into the new year. That's what we're talking about now. Let's kick it off with a word of prayer as we always do. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity you give us to have change and to have a change of mind, a change of thinking. And uh, Lord, every day is a new day. And so we commit uh, the rest of our afternoon, the afternoon drive and uh, whatever we have this evening, we commit it to you in the name of Jesus. Together, everyone said, amen and amen. Now, there are a couple other ways you can get a hold of me. You can always go to andersonspeaks.com. That's andersonspeaks.com. And uh, that way you can uh, connect with me off the air with my email address there. So many different articles and resources you may want to check out. And of course, if you want to check out uh, our video learning series on gracism. So you can be certified in gracism at a very fundamental, basic level. Well, guess what? You can do that as well. Go to gracismglobal.com to get more information on that for you, your church, your staff, your uh, department, your teams. This would be a great training on how to build bridges of reconciliation through extending grace, the eight sayings of a gracist, okay? 
7434. That is the number live here in studio. And I'm looking forward to talking with you because I want to hear what changes do you need to make or what changes do you want to make in the new year? Maybe I can help walk you through it, talk you through it, pray you through it. But I'm right here and I want to know what do you think about that are there any particular changes and by the way are you a person that deals with change pretty well are you uh you married to someone or have kids or have friends or a boss or teammates that handle change well and then others maybe they don't handle it so well how are you supposed to relate to people who uh don't embrace change and you know that change is coming how do you prepare them Uh, That is something that I think is an important skill uh, to have instead of just springing change on people. Some people actually need preparation in order to change, just like we do, uh, you know, in the environment seasons by seasons. We know that change is coming, but it usually doesn't happen right away. You begin to see the leaves change, then fall then you start to feel the cold air and then the the snow, the ice, you wake up and there's frost and you're like, what just happened? <laughs> but believe it or not, your body has been getting prepared for it. And then before you know it, just a few months later, uh, it starts to warm up. The rains start to come. The sun is shining and you all of a sudden you're like, wow, it's getting pretty out here. And then you start seeing budding on these little stems, little flowers and leaves and you're like ah something new is coming and so our bodies are are you know wired for change um and you have been divinely wired by god for change and the bible even says that we are supposed to be transformed by the renewing of our mind so there's a change that takes place when we give our life to christ Our growth happens when we uh, begin to renew our mind. And here's something, no one gets to heaven unless they've been changed. That's right. You got to go from being an old man, an old woman uh, in the spirit realm, right, to the new man, the new woman, the person who gave their life to Christ. Then they were born again. But even then, you still have to be changed in order to come from this world to go into the next world. Every believer will be changed from corruptible to incorruptible, from mortal to immortal. And so thank God you ultimately will be changed, especially those of you who are sick and shut in and feel like your body's giving up on you. Here's the good news. While your body may be decaying day by day, the Bible says that your spirit is being renewed every day. So your spirit is still young and strong, uh, whether you're an old man or whether you're an old woman, older woman. Good news is just because your body may be growing old, your spirit is young and uh, sharp as ever. All right. What do you think about change? You want to talk to me about this topic? Any new changes for the new year? Let me know. I'm coming right back. This is Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. If you're anything like me, you see all the division and hostility in the world, and you know that if you just had the right tools, you could make a difference. You could help bring some healing. You could be a bridge builder. Guided by Dr. David Anderson and the Gracism Global Team, I learned how to live and lead by becoming a positive solution in a world that's dealing with such negative problems. I went from feeling overwhelmed to being empowered from being a bystander to becoming a bridge builder. Dr. Anderson has taken the principles of racism around the world, helping corporations, ministries, nonprofits, and government leaders grow in their ability to bridge the deepest divides of color, class, and culture. Through Racism Global's coaching and certifications, you can gain the confidence and skills to bring change right where you are. Whether for you or your whole organization, We're here to help you bring the power of racism into your life and leadership today. Visit GracismGlobal.com and join us on this transformative journey. 
we're not just fighting against racism, we're building a world of gracism. Does your church have legal challenges? McCullum & Associates has experience with pastor church relations, administration and organizational issues, church liability and risk management, and real estate matters. This firm understands the legal aspects of the problems, as well as the spiritual implications of those same problems inside and outside the court. Call McCullum & Associates today at 301-864-6070. That's 301-864-6070. Hey, Miss Jerry, how are you? I'm well, Dr. Anderson. How are you? Oh, I'm alive and grateful. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you having um, Andrew Altman on uh -huh. last week, I, was, I believe it was, uh, because we made a decision and he, he provided that last piece about waterproofing right. that I wasn't aware of. They came out. Okay. They said they would be done in two days. Yeah. They were. Okay. It was a great experience. Great. And this, we had just purchased our forever home in January of 2023, to God be the glory. Mm, amen. Um, and now we've taken care of a big item on our punch list. Okay. Uh, that we got from the, the home inspection. I'm so grateful that you, you called to thank me. I'm going to pass it on to him as well. I love when I hear from a listener who says, we used one of your advertisers and they did what they said they were going to do. And that's what Best Buy Waterproofing is all about. And I hope people will go to bestbuywaterproofing.com so they can be happy customers like you. Thank you so much, Jerry. Welcome back to Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. For more information about this program or for resources from Dr. Anderson, please visit andersonspeaks.com. To watch on Facebook Live or to view past episodes, visit Dr. Anderson's public figure Facebook page. Just search Dr. David Anderson and click like. You can also watch live on YouTube. Just search for Anderson Speaks, all one word, and make sure to subscribe. Join our text community and receive a free weekly text from Dr. Anderson. Just text the word INSPIRE to 97000. That's I-N-S-P-I-R-E to 97000. And now, back to Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. That's me. Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. We are talking about change. Yeah, that's right. Uh, maybe you know that uh, song, that chains come over over me, that old, old gospel song. But listen, um, what about embracing change? What changes do you need to embrace? As we think about the new year, are there new year's goals, resolutions? Some people like to call them resolutions. But changes that you need to make or changes that you want to make, give me a call. I'd like to hear what you're thinking about. Maybe we can help uh, uh, shape it up together. Also, uh, one question I had is what should never change? Since we're talking about embracing change, are there some things that should just never change or never uh, should really evolve or, you know, I, I have to change my position on something? I, I'd love to hear, are there, are there any things that should never change or should everything kind of be open for debate depending on situations and depending on uh, what you're feeling uh, today or depending on the environment. Well, my phone number is 888-432-7434. Give me a call. My lines are open. I'd love to talk to you about the topic of change and embracing it and what, what wisdom is there regarding, regarding that and what things do not need to change. I think when we know those things, it'll really help us when change is upon us Sometimes you have to stand firm on some things and other times you have to let go. And, and you thought, you know what, maybe I'm maybe I should be OK with this change, you know, and begin to embrace it 
maybe you've been holding on to something because of culture or because of something that your parents taught you uh, or an idea that you've always had formulated because of something that you learned in college or a book that you read. And then you realize, you know what, that's outdated. And uh, you know what, maybe I need to not be so hard on my my kids. M maybe my parents were hard on me in that in that day and age. But in this day and age, kids are different and their thoughts are different. And the way I'm supposed to engage and embrace change is different. And so uh, I think that's something worth talking about. My lines are open 888-432-7434. Now life has a uh, few guarantees, but one thing you can count on is change and you can't stop uh, life's ebbs and flows, but you can learn how to accept change in your life. A study by the University of Chicago economist Stephen Levitt asked par participants to make a big decision based on the result of a coin toss. Now, when these people actually went through with the change, they were happier overall in the long run. And those that decided not to make the change experienced a nagging feeling that they should have. Now, flipping a coin, of course, isn't the best decision-making strategy. Learning to trust your gut and to take on scary challenges leads to better self-confidence and satisfaction. And, of course, as believers, even praying about uh, how we uh, move forward in something or change something. But it's interesting in that University of Chicago study that those that actually, you know, embrace change, they, like they made the change that they say they were going to make based on a coin toss, felt better in the long run. So usually uh, if you, you're thinking about a change and you don't make it, then you're always wondering what, what would have happened if I tried? What would have happened if I uh, did make the change? Well, I want to hear from you. I want to know what you're thinking on today's topic. Let me give you my number, then I'll go to the phone lines. My number is 888-432-7434. Or just remember the word bridge, 888-43-BRIDGE. All right, let's start off in Millersville, Maryland, with Angie, who's on the line. Hello, Miss Angie. How are you today? Hi. Um, I'm not so great, but um, love your show. Love the whole, you know, listen to it all the time. Thank you. Um, it really helps me. Um, and I think with the, to get to the bottom of it with change is that I'm 52. My husband just passed mm. um, traumatically oh. of having a brain hemorrhage. And uh, we have three kids, 18, 22, and 20. And I don't like change. And I've been finding myself uh, just trying to pray, but also try to remain faithful of that that change to trust in God. Yeah. Like I'm saying to myself, why was why did this happen to my husband? He's a, such a good guy, a person. He never saw this coming. Days leading up to this, hmm. I was talking about making sure our relationship with the Lord is okay, good, hmm. yeah. for my kids to understand, like, believing in God's, you know, we, we're saved by grace, but believing, but we also have to do. Hmm. And we have to reflect back on our relationships. And then oh, that was Father's Day in June, June 22nd. Hmm. But he, my husband just passed because he was in five months in a in a um, hospital and rehabilitation and then mm -hmm. passed away. But wow. that's been very difficult for me with the change of wow. that. I'm thrown into every aspect of my life has changed mentally, physically, yeah. spiritually, financially, wow. because I'm out of work. My husband, um, I had a life event as well. And it just is like, I don't understand why God would, I, and I hate to say this. I was like, I don't just don't understand. Mm. But then I go back, I'm thinking that I really need to, um, really need to trust in God that he has a plan when I'm dealing with this change, but yeah. I need your help. What yeah. do I do? I mean, I'm, when you're on rock bottom of just trying to make sense of this in every aspect, some people change their jobs and they yeah. don't like it, their homes, they change their lifestyle, yeah. they lose friends. This is a change in, that has impacted my, me and my children in every aspect. Of I, our lives, and I don't even know what the right how yeah. to move forward or move forward because I have to trust that God knows the past, present, and future. He knew taking my husband had to be 
that that had to be in his plan. I, I don't even know how to make sense of it. Yeah. And then a lot of friends come to me and they say, I'm losing faith because of this. And I said, don't lose faith, faith yeah. because of this, because God created us. And mm. he knows when we're, you know, it was just hard because so many things are changing at once. My goodness, you've gone through so much. Angie, I'm just glad you're listening. I'm glad you called me. When did he actually pass away? November the 12th. Yeah, so I mean, we're 12th. talking From about June 22nd was the incident. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, this second half of the year just completely shifted for you. And then within the last month or so, yeah. you've lost him. And so I, I can't even imagine what you must be going through and the only thing to hold on to is your faith that's the only anchor in the yeah. midst of this crazy storm that you're in and yeah. so i'm just so proud of you for even holding on to god because most people would let go of god do you know what i mean but yeah you're holding on to him i know but i know that i gotta hold on to him and i have to say i am upset in many ways because I don't think, and even this is a lesson for my children, I think they were so, how do I say this? I don't know. They, everything in their life was pretty good and up until this point, and they would always say how much their friends loved their father and how yeah. he's a great guy, and everybody really liked him because yeah. I hate to say it, it's hard to find a likable guy nowadays. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I like, get it. it gets along with women, men, work. He went beyond, he worked seven days of the week, worked during this whole COVID. Yeah. thing for all these years you know at doing stuff to go beyond to help people and um it's hard because they realize too that i'm realizing you know no matter what life is about change and yeah. you might be thrown something but we have to be able to go with it and hold on to it and trust that god knows more than we know and that well, this might be this had to be god makes good out of it and this has to be the best circumstance when you're faithful with god that he'll make good out of this even though this is so tragic sure. that's the only thing i can hold on to well, but i don't know if am i wrong no well, you're how, not what should be my attitude well I what think, do i say to my kids i think right now what you need to do is just grieve you know just literally yeah. just grieve and allow yourself to grieve be with your kids. Don't try to heal them. Just be with them and say, I loved your father. I don't like being alone like this. Let's hold one another. Let's pray together. The holidays are going to be so rough and tough. Let's light a candle. Let's let's sit and cry. Let's, you know, uh, drink some eggnog and, tr and try to create some new traditions. But don't make any major decisions. You know, with the exception of you might have to get a job or whatever like yeah. that. But I mean, don't try to move. Don't try to date. Don't try to do anything that's a major decision for the next, you know, six months to a year at least. Because you've got to give yourself yeah. time to grieve and permission to be upset. Permission to talk to God the yeah. way the way you're feeling. Because he knows how you're feeling how you're feeling anyway. But I do want to send you a free book of mine called Be Encouraged, okay. How to Encourage Yourself okay. and Others in Discouraging Times. And I'm hoping that it will just be one little nugget of encouragement for your heart as you're going through this. And before I go to my break, Miss Angie, I'm wondering if you'd allow me to just say a prayer for you with my listeners. No, please say, say every prayer you could think of because I need it and so does my kids. Okay, well, I'm going to pray for you now. Then you, you hold on. We'll get your information. I'm going to sign and send you a free book. But let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, we have heard the story of Miss Angie in Millersville, and we lift her up, God, in a way that would bless her. Please embrace her. May she feel a hug through my voice through every listener that's also praying with me, we lift up Angie and her three children, her 22-year-old, her 20-year-old, her 18-year-old. We pray for her finances. We pray for her comfort. We pray for her peace. Lord, every tear that she sheds, may she know that you are capturing it in the very palm of your hand. For it is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God Dr. bless you. Thank you so much. Of God course. God bless you. God bless and you. Hold on.
This is Andrew A. Altman, Sr., owner of Best Buy Waterproofing, and you're listening to Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. All day long, that's me. (laughs) Not that I'm one all day long, but I'm David Anderson all day long, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) How in the world are you today? Welcome to the second half of the program. If you're just joining us, it's Wisdom Wednesday. We're talking about the wisdom of embracing change. And what changes do you want or need to make as you head into the new year? And of course, we didn't talk about change being thrusted upon you. Like we just heard from our listener, Angie, would you be so kind to keep Miss Angie from Millersville in your prayers for my, uh, for my prayer warrior uh, listeners? I'm sure she could use those prayers. 52 year old husband passed away suddenly in uh, November 12th, two weeks just before Thanksgiving and right uh, before the the holidays for Christmas and uh, right after Father's Day, uh, you know, got ill, aneurysm, whatever, just took him and three adult kids, 18, 20, 22. So uh, Miss Angie, we're praying for you. We're sending you a free book as well. Well, listen, if I can encourage you by sending you a free book, if I can encourage you by uh, walking with you through uh, a short conversation on the air, my line is open. Let me give you my phone number. It's 888-432-7434. And, uh, you know, if if the Lord uh, wants us to connect, then you'll get through. But you got to first dial it. 888-43-BRIDGE, if I can be an encouragement to you. But today's topic is about change. And change is not always bad. Uh, You know, change can be good. But how do you accept it? How do you embrace it? When should you embrace it? And by the way, what things should never change, no matter what? Um, and even if the culture changes, you, you uh, are standing firm to say, no, I, this will not change. I will not change in this. And so that's a sort of a, a struggle between I want to change and there's some things I won't change. And uh, you could look pretty rigid. Look, you look pretty old fashioned or old on some things. But there are a lot of other things where it's more tradition and culture that's held you back. And or you're just your personality, just what you want, you know, and maybe God is saying, no, it's time to to let go of that. It's time to loosen your grip on that. It's time for you to think differently on that It's because your parents said you had to be in by 11 at that age. Maybe you know what? Maybe it's 12 now. I mean, whatever. But my whole point is that we have to embrace change and there's a wisdom that we need in doing it. We need God uh, to help us uh, know what to change when to change, how to change, and when not to. Well, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to give me a call, I'm open to talking to you. I want to talk to you. I want to hear from you. My number is 888-43-BRIDGE. Let's go to Baltimore, Maryland, and we're going to talk to Arthur, who's on the line. Hello, Mm -hmm. Mr. Arthur. It's Dr. Anderson. How are you, sir? How are you doing today? Oh, I'm alive and grateful. Thanks for hanging with me. How can I be a blessing Amen. to you? Uh, I was just listening to the young lady that had just called that uh, lost her husband. Yeah. And it made me just think about Job. You know, Job lost everything. And, and he was down just like her, the way she sounded, you know, the hurt, the pain, the the feeling of being lost, uh, lonely, everything. Yeah. But God is always there, number one. Number two, uh, just stay fast and and, 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 and and praying to the Lord and, and then her walk and then her journey with the Lord, though, and God will do the same thing for her just as he did for Job. It might not be double for the trouble or whatever, but God will bring her all the way through. You know what I mean? That right. that hurt and that pain is really just set up for a blessing. And it happens in all our life one way or another. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those valleys is where we really need to stand in there the most. You know what I mean? That's when we show our faith the most. It ain't when everything is good that, that, that people get to see the real faith and the real power of God in their life is when everything is crazy, when everything is going to hell in the handbasket, and yet they still see you have that peace that surpasses all human understanding. Mm-hmm. That's when they know that God is real, and that's what the encouragement I would love to give my sister, that yeah. just hang in there. You know what I mean? God is faithful. You know what I mean? Yeah, Arthur. One of the things I love is when my listeners like you hear another listener and you call in because you want to be an encouragement to her. 
and because she's probably still listening. And so it's as if God connected you to her and her to you, and yet y'all don't even know each other. So thank you for being willing to do that, my brother. I appreciate it, okay? Amen. Thank you. All right. Take care. My number is 888-432-7434. I love when you call me and talk to me and we talk about wisdom and we talk about God's word and or we kick it on any topic. I, I enjoy that. But there's something special when uh, you're listening to the radio and somebody else calls to be an encouragement to you. And you're just, you know, you're listening to the radio and some some random Christian stranger who's a brother or sister in the Lord is actually speaking to you and encouraging you or praying for you. And so, you know, we got to thank God for this technology of radio, of of the Internet. We've got to thank God that we're in a country where we can air uh, prayers and, and we can um, come against the prince of the power of the air by coming into the air and speaking uh, the name of Jesus. And we speak that peace over Miss Angie and to also thank you, author, for your phone call. Well, listen, if you want to talk to me, I still have another segment left. I'm going to run to my commercial break, but I have one more nice large segment before uh, we uh, start to land the plane. So maybe this is the time God's uh, encouraging you to call me to ask about a change you need to make or to ask for some encouragement. I'm here. It's Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. Have you ever listened to Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson and wondered how we come up with heartfelt discussions on Marriage Mondays or engaging topics on Tough Topic Tuesdays? Well, our listeners are our inspiration. We would love to keep hearing from you. So if you have an idea for the show, let us know because comprehension begins with conversation. Send us your ideas by sending an email to info at and join the conversation on Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. Want more Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson? You can now catch Dr. Anderson's half-hour radio highlight show on Saturdays at 3 p.m. right here on WAVA 105.1. You'll enjoy recent conversations he's had with callers to this show. Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson, Weekend Edition. Saturday, 3 p.m. on WAVA. Check it out. For more information about Dr. Anderson, visit andersonspeaks.com. to be encouraged or do you know someone that needs encouragement dr david anderson has compiled his sermon series be encouraged into a book which will be sure to encourage yourself and others for a donation in any amount we'll send you a signed copy of the book to make your donation visit andersonspeaks.com click on the donate button and we'll send you your copy today Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. How are you today? You doing okay? Thanks for tuning in in case you're just getting in your car or uh, maybe just tuning in on my Facebook page or YouTube uh, page. Thanks a lot. We are talking today about embracing change and, uh, you, you know, our bodies change too. So what happens, you know, when you realize that you're not as fast as you used to be or, or maybe uh, your body doesn't process food the way it used to or whatever. I mean, I think when it comes to change, part of it is knowing how to embrace it and not just run away from it. Lucy Reyes Blair says your faith should never change. That's right. We asked what things should never change. She says your faith. And yet that's the thing that's oftentimes tested when we're going through the difficulties, like we just heard from Miss Angie. And uh, by the way, Louis, uh, Lucy Reyes Blair says, Miss Angie, if you're still listening, uh, she's praying for you. She also says, I've been guilty of doing uh, of of this during times of unanswered prayers, meaning, uh, you know, um, struggling and uh, maybe uh, faith being tested. A big hello to Shelly Nicholson Williamson as well on my Facebook page. Thank you uh, for tuning in. And for those of you who are 
on my YouTube page, heading over there as well. At Anderson Speaks is my handle. And so feel free uh, at any time to uh, to tune in during the show if you happen to be near, uh, near a computer. And also make sure you like me uh, and subscribe uh, and follow, you know, all that stuff on um, on social media. It sure is sure is helpful too uh, as well. But I see you there uh, on my uh, on my uh, YouTube page. So thanks a lot for that as well. All right, 888-432-7434. That is my number live in studio. Let's go to Baltimore, Maryland and talk to Grace, who's on the line. Hello, Miss Grace. It's Dr. Anderson here. How are you today? Hello, Dr. Hello, Dr. Anderson. I'm doing, doing well, thank you. Thank you for calling. What are you thinking today? Well, um, first I started to think about Angie and her children in here in in her husband's passing, the impact that it's had, how it's affected them in so many areas, and I really feel for her. And I well, I prayed along with you as you were praying for her. Thank you. But I also thought in in think about change and my perspective on that. As I've thought about the beginning of next year, and I thought about December being the ending of this year, I started preparing myself uh, by spend more time in prayer because I wanted to end the year well, Mm -hmm. but at the same time, I want to be prepared for the new year. So I, I followed the directive of the Holy Spirit, whatever it is that he's telling me. Mm -hmm. And um, he just asked me to go on a fast that I won't (laughs) even mention, but Mm -hmm. it's a fast that's going, that's from December the 5th until March the 5th. And that is mm. a challenge. So that's change. It's oh, wow. being obedient to what he tells you to do. Right, right. Yeah, that's a long stint of fasting, and he must be leading you to do that for a very particular purpose. And so just the idea of changing your oh, diet, definitely. you know, changing mm-hmm. the way you eat, that in and of itself, and for spiritual reasons, that's a big deal. So um, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for obeying the Lord. Thank you, Pastor, for being there to be able to share with those who who you're able to bless through your experiences. Amen. God bless you. Miss Grace from Baltimore, Maryland. Well, I do have a small book I wrote. It was really a, a series of sermons, and I've never done that before out of all the books. I got to count how many books I've written. I think I've written maybe eight or nine or seven. I don't actually know. I'm, I got to. I'm going to count that, but there's one that I did last year. It's the first time we took a sermon series. We pressed it into a small book because it was such an encouragement for people to hear these four or five sermons on encouragement that we thought if we put it in writing and gave it to people, they could have that encouragement themselves. While we were on travel last month, we were in Switzerland and we met with a a refugee from Ukraine him and his family were living in Switzerland. He's a pastor, and he uh, really encourages other pastors. And we gave him a copy of the book, Be Encouraged. Within a couple of days, he read the book, and he wrote us back and said, can we translate this into Ukrainian? Because this would be such an encouragement to the pastors all throughout uh, the area, and not only in, in Switzerland, but in, in Hungary, in Moldova, in Romania, you have Ukrainians who have literally been uh, out of their country and they're living in other countries, and it would be such an encouragement. And so that's what we're working on is actually translating it into Ukrainian. He's already got 5,000 uh, people who are ready to receive it. And uh, sometimes that's that's what you need more than anything else. It's spiritual food to Lord, get me through this because times are just so, so very hard, so very difficult. And so we can be an encouragement to you. We still have a couple of moments together. I'll send you a free copy of the book. Be encouraged if you want to. That's how I'm feeling uh, today. And so you better get in where you fit in. But my phone number is 888-432-7434. And if you're just joining us, our topic, the wisdom of change. What changes do you want or need to make uh, heading into the new year? You know, some changes you actually have the volition to make. Other changes happen to you. 
and there's, you know, you weren't expecting it. So, you know, to be able to dance with that change, you know, you know, you didn't know that you were going to be put out of your house. So you didn't know there was going to be a fire. You didn't know a loved one was going to pass. You didn't know, you know, for instance, you know, we had someone sleeping over at, at the house, one of my daughter's girlfriends who was pregnant and they were just going to spend the evening, you know, hanging out and having fun. And, and then they were going to get to come to church the next morning. That's why she came over so that they could then get up and go to church. Well, I'm happy about that, but they never made it to church. Why not? Did they oversleep? No. The six-month pregnant young lady, water broke. That's right, in my house. While I'm preaching about nine signs of the times and nine signs of the times equal the birth pains of nine months of being pregnant, I had no idea. While I was preaching that, her water broke in my house. And uh, she uh, drove herself, which she shouldn't have done, uh, to Holy Cross Hospital. And they did a C-section. And now the baby is alive and well in NICU. You know, that they're going to keep it for a couple of months, but on a little breathing tube, and the baby's been born. Can you believe that? Change, right? So their schedule changed. Of course, she texted my daughter. My daughter got right up and met her at the hospital. Said, why didn't you wake me? But the whole point is you have uh, a change that took place that you weren't expecting. And that happens too. And when that happens, what do you do? So part of accepting and embracing change is a part of what it means to, to be a human being. But the way we respond has to do with our Christian faith. You with me? 888-432-7434. That is my number live in studio. And of course, I love talking to you. So I'm going to go right back to the phone lines. And we're going to go to Oxon Hill, Maryland now. And we're going to talk to Miss Jessica, who's on the line. Hi, Miss Jessica. It's Dr. Anderson here. How are you? Hello. I'm doing well, Dr. Anderson. How are you? Oh, I'm alive and grateful. Thank you for calling. What are you thinking? That is, well, today I've been listening to your callers, and I am actually encouraged by Angie's story. I, I'm going through a bit of a trial er, and errors in my own life, but mm. I'm encouraged as it compares nothing to what she's um, facing and mm-hmm. having had to face. And I'm praying for her strength and her continued encouragement. And, of course, I'm, I was further encouraged by the brother who called in and recounted the story of Job yeah. and gave us both some, some additional encouragement. Yes. And um, I, I, I'm grateful for the both of them, and I'm encouraged by their stories. And I heard you offering a copy of your book, yes. Be Encouraged, and I would love to have a copy of that book for uh, my own uh, edification. I would love to send it to you, sign it, and send it to you so you'll be encouraged and use it to encourage other people, okay? Okay, Dr. Anderson. I am so grateful for you and your program. I love you. I love your callers. I love the platform, and I thank God for you. Amen and amen. I receive that gratitude. Now you hold on. Let us get your information. We'll mail it out to you within 24 hours. Lord bless you, Miss Jessica.
It's Real Talk with Dr. David Anderson. We're coming now to a close in the show, but I think I can slide in one more caller, Dumfries, Virginia, with Ms. Liz on the line. Hi, Ms. Liz. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Dr. Anderson? Oh, I'm alive and grateful and glad I was able to get you in. Thanks for holding. What are you thinking? Well, um, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, Lord, um, I have no idea how to share what I want to share, Mm. but just really want to encourage anyone out there that's feeling like their life is um, turned upside down. Ours was this past year and just, you know, just so many different things. Um, my daughter was very ill. She's fine. She's graduating college in May. Praise the Lord. Mm. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer, um, in June and had surgery. Um, my brother-in-law died in August at 59. Mm. Um, my Mm -hmm. husband had a minor stroke. My husband lost his job after 21 years. Um, And then my brother died six weeks ago unexpectedly. Oh, my gosh. And and I can tell you that um, at the beginning of this year, the Lord put me in such a place with him where he told me revival's coming. Mm. And um, I thought, wow, this is great. You know, I got all excited. Right. And then we got hit with everything. And it's really, it it shook me. Um, I thought my faith was strong before this. Mm-hmm. You know, but but I keep hearing from the Lord that, you know, that he is still Lord and that mm-hmm. my intimacy with him is in such a different place because he hugs me every day. Yeah. <laughs> he holds me and he truly um, understands. And there's a place you go to where you realize that we are one breath away from eternity and not that you live there in fear, but you live in such a way that you just know that, you know, that no matter what you face the Lord, that everything is going to be okay because you've got Jesus. And that's what I want to leave your listeners with. No matter what is they're going through, they've got Jesus if they know him. Mm. And that is the most important thing. That is it. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. And you've gone through so much and God's been very present and close to you, even in the midst of it, stay there. And we pray that his comfort will be with you. And by the way, do you, do you want this free book I have on encouragement? Would that be okay to send it to you? I would absolutely love that. Oh, great. <laughs> I'll take every bit of encouragement I can get. Yay. Well, be in, be encouraged today because I can sense that God is with you, that heaven is smiling upon you, that God has not forgotten you, uh, and that revival is still coming even in your life and in those around you. But uh, you are not alone, and today proves it. And I'm just so glad that we got to talk today. Okay, Miss Liz? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Well, you hold on. We'll get your information. And it's on this note, friends, that we're going to turn to the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you that we can encourage one another no matter what change comes our way. We thank you for Liz and Jessica and Grace and Arthur and Angie, for every single one of them in Millersville, Baltimore, Oxon Hill, Dumfries. And all my listeners around the area, would you bless them and encourage their hearts today? In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, help your children. Thank you.